Stable Diffusion For those who are living under the rock, it's a text-to-image deep learning model released in 2022, which can create highly detailed realistic image from just a text command. Just like other deep learning models such as DALI, Midjourney, etc. Stable Diffusion does all of that but for free and that's its biggest selling point as this AI model is open sourced which means you can create your own application using this AI model without paying any form of royalty to stability.ai the company that owns this stable diffusion model in fact a few months ago you must have seen this video in your social media feed i just turned myself into artwork using ai and the results are insane or various influencers posting pictures like these. Well, directly or indirectly, they were promoting this app called Lenza, in which you upload 20 pics of yourself and with those images, the app creates your own AI of Dar. And in reality, it was nothing but stable diffusion wrapped in a nice UI. And when I understand this very thing, it just blew my mind. And thus, I wanted to build my own app just like Lenza. But I don't know code, I'm an arts guy. So I started by searching on YouTube how to install Table Diffusion on your PC. Because in my head I was thinking that if I want to make an app like Lenza, I first have to install Stable Diffusion model on my local PC for some reason. So the first thing that I did was that I started watching tutorials. On Windows, press Control Shift Escape. This opens up Task Manager, and over on the left-hand side, click on Performance. Here, if you see NVIDIA in this list, then that means that you have a discrete GPU or graphics card, so that's good news. Right here, you'll also want to verify that you have at least 4 gigabytes of dedicated GPU memory. Hmm, well... 3.9 is approximately 4. No, it's not, you dumb dumb. So it should work. After all, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, poor Satan. If only you have known. If only you have known. And this is how it all started. Okay, all done. Click run. An error. It's not going away. And now even the PC has stopped working. Nothing is responding. How not to install stable diffusion in your PC? So, after verifying my system requirements, I started the installation. By the way, to all the non-coders like me, make sure you have these basic softwares pre-installed. Make sure you have Git installed, plus you also have a GitHub account because it is from here you're gonna download your stable diffusion model. Secondly, make sure you have Python installed because this deep learning model runs on a programming language named Python. So make sure you have Python, especially this version, installed. Why? You will see it later. So after installing all these prerequisites, I installed Stable Diffusion from this particular GitHub repository, which is also the most popular one as well. And I know at first glance, it do look intimidating, but you only have to copy this particular code. Now go to the particular folder where you want your Stable Diffusion model to install. Click on the upper tab and type CMD. This will open your command prompt. Here you type git clone and that URL. And here, my friend, you will see the magic of programming. Just by pressing enter, all the essential files and their repositories will be copied in your local PC from that GitHub account. And there should be a new folder by the name of Stable Diffusion Web UI. Now we need to download a model for a Stable Diffusion. To simply put it, it's a model that has been trained on specific parameters to produce a specific result and different model gives you different kinds of results. Now, simply download this model and copy it into this specific folder of your Stable Diffusion Web UI. After you have done all of this, now comes the actual installation part. But wait, wasn't this video about how not to install Stable Diffusion? Then why this video is starting to look more like a tutorial? Well, because it is in this part of installation where the actual problem started. So. For the installation, you need to open the folder that we previously created. Now click on this very file and the model should start to install. That's how it was supposed to happen. But when I clicked on this option, this happened. An error occurred and also being from an arts background, I had no idea what I was seeing on my screen at that time. So I called my brother 
who actually is a software engineer and after discussing with him he concluded that my python version didn't have a particular library and that's why the error is showing so he tried to find that particular library on google stack overflow etc and we find some we tried it didn't work we tried again it didn't work and we got stuck on that error for more than four days if you want to know what exactly the problem was i have made a separate video on it so long story short after four days of hard work we reached nowhere and quite simply gave up on it but because i have poured already so much time and effort into this particular thing i gave it one last try i deleted everything from git to python anaconda all of my stable diffusion repositories everything and started from scratch again and this time even more cautious than before and i'm not kidding bro by this time i was so done with it i was so paranoid that i opened that particular tutorial at the right side of my screen and copied every single step word by word and for some reason this method worked the program started to run and the pc started to extract all the files and that's how with hard work persistence and dedication we were able to run stable diffusion on our pc if only that could be the truth you see the video that you recently saw was actually stable diffusion and i definitely managed to run it not only that i was even able to train my own model on stable diffusion but this was not done on my pc but on a remote gpu using google collab because after installing stable diffusion on my pc nothing bad actually happened the code started to run there was no error and since there was a lot of processing that was going on so i left my code for running for a while but when i came back what i saw was that that my laptop stopped working and in the command prompt the output that the code was giving was totally different from the output that the code was expected to give as you can see in the end of this code there was supposed to be a url which would have directed me to this page where i could start using stable diffusion but on the other hand what i got was not even an error but something totally different a statement which i couldn't understand my brother was working at that time so i can't ask him so therefore the only option that was left with me was to ask chat gpt for his solution and this is what it came up with gpu it all boiled down to gpu my personal gpu didn't had enough memory to run this deep learning module which i should tell you takes a lot of ram just see even when i'm running it on a remote gpu how much dedicated gpu space this program is taking so there was not even a chance that this model could ever had run on my pc quite contrary if i would have been persistent with running this module on my pc my laptop might would have crashed as you could clearly see at that time my pc got hanged and it was not responding to any command so i gave up on the idea of running this stable diffusion model on my pc but i was still able to use it through google collab notebook in which you can train your ai model using a remote gpu what is a remote gpu you ask well it's kind of like a rental system where i paid google to use their very powerful gpus for running my model so with the help of google collabs remote gpu plus this particular collab notebook which basically was a stable diffusion web ui i was able to create text to image not only that but there was a lot that i was able to do with this ai model for example training my own custom ai model to create my own ai avatars just like that app lenser and even turned a marvel character into an animation using ai video is coming so please wait and do turn on the notification thank you you're awesome so to conclude how not to install stable diffusion step 1 not reading the instructions properly please if you are trying to install this model on your pc first of all read all the requirements all the prerequisites that are required to run this module trust me you will save yourself so much time and effort and pain i can't really express it in words Step 2 have at least more than 5 GB of RAM if you even are dreaming of running this model on your PC. Step 3 have at least one engineer friend around you when you are playing with this model simply to cover up your mess. And last but not the least if you are loving my content do subscribe